Bullying is never justifiable, but when someone knocks the books out of your hands, you hold them tighter the next time you pass by. I mean, it's books, right? Like, I mean, what are they knocking out of your hands now? Not that it's acceptable. A team of researchers is employing a similar tough love technique, only they're using it to train robots. During initial research, the team from USC found that when robots are allowed to roam free in the wild, they are often bullied by humans. In this particular case, they watched as unsupervised kids kicked, punched, and even threw things at a robot in a mall. Damn kids. But we know from experience that it's not just kids who act in an adversarial manner. Just last week, researchers at the University of Illinois and MIT were hitting little Hermes with a hammer. However, the team from USC found that such behavior can help robots adapt, learn, and improve. For the simple experiment, they took a robot in a virtual environment and asked it to pick up an object. After it picked it up, they swatted it out of the robot's hand. And as they continued, the robot learned how to hold it with a stronger grasp and make it harder to knock loose. Until now, researchers have tried to teach robots by showing them how to do things. Well, this study found that robots actually learn and adapt faster by trying to stop them. And it's more efficient. The adversarial actions actually made the robot twice as successful at learning how to grasp an object. Next, the researchers will work with a real robot arm. So, something that could potentially push back. But they insist that while their algorithm has proved successful, robot training will require a balance of tough love and encouragement. Ow! What the f Kevin? God damn it. New work out of the Carnegie Mellon University College of Engineering has found that artificial intelligence can be trained to imitate engineers and use human design strategies to solve problems. The findings are part of a larger project sponsored by DARPA about the role of AI in human and computer hybrid teams, specifically how humans and AI can work together. In this particular case, we're working with AI to offload the busy work. When engineers use AI, they typically have it solve a problem within a defined set of rules. In this new study, the AI learns from human behavior and then applies it to the design. The study specifically looks at trusses because they present complex engineering design challenges. Using multiple deep neural networks, the AI created designs that were similar to those used by humans. The researchers found that on average, the AI performed better than humans and were able to solve design problems using nothing more than the human strategy techniques that they had been trained to use. According to the researchers, the idea is not that the AI will replace engineers, but that it will enable engineers to offload the quote, boring, time-consuming tasks. It could free up engineers to quote, think big, and depending on the increasing capabilities, they might have a lot more time to sit around and think big. Researchers from Case Western Reserve University have discovered a way to protect homes from devastating wildfires. They covered the entire house with a fire blanket. In a number of tests, both in the lab and in prescribed wildfires, the team found that relatively thin, less than one millimeter aluminized fire blankets can protect wooden structures. The nature of wildfires is unpredictable, but if the duration of the fire was relatively short, like less than 10 minutes, and the heat doesn't destroy the aluminum foil, the structure could survive. According to Professor Fumiyaki Takahashi, the lead researcher on the project, the findings could mean big business for entrepreneurs and investors willing to invest in fire blanket protection that could improve heat resistance. Overall weight remains an obstacle. Even though the test blanket was only about a millimeter thick, it still covered about a thousand square feet and weighed more than 150 pounds, which could be too cumbersome for many to use. The team also tested woven fiberglass, amorphous silica, pre-oxidized carbon, and aramid-based fiber that firefighters use to protect themselves. Aluminized materials are the front runners thus far. According to estimates, about 38% of new homes built in the Western United States are in dangerous zones. And this fire blanket could be one way of protecting them. Next, the researchers plan to test longer heat exposures, which plays a critical role in the structure to structure ignition in high housing density areas. They will also investigate deployment. Previous ideas consisted of a device on the top of your house that would automatically deploy the blanket. And it's also possible that the blanket could be installed manually with enough notice and by professional installers. But it could take hours to put up. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.